women-friendly villages, which highlight the importance of gender transformative outcomes and more equitable and participatory de development. We saw, we saw that power in those brief films. When children and women are part of the development planning at the panchayat level, we genuinely improve health, education, nutrition, livelihoods, civic engagement for the entire rural community. And above all, we advance the rights of children and women themselves. Being part of the village level planning makes girls more aware of their rights and dignity and education. And they know and understand what harmful social practices are. Being a part of the village level planning brings attention to children with li living with disabilities whose voices are often not heard. Village planning helps women and girls see their critical health and nutrition needs as part of policy dialogues and decisions. And it also helps young people start to see themselves as community and nation builders. UNICEF looks forward to building on our strong partnership with the government to support scaling up these proven and best practices across India and across the world. Let me express UNICEF's sincere appreciation to the Ministry of Panjati Raj for giving UNICEF India the opportunity to work together in developing the Compendium of Good Practices on Child-Friendly Local Governance, which is being released today, and also for working together on the guidelines on institutionalization of Bal and Balika Sabas, and Bal and Balika Panchayat, and Mahila Sabas to be released tomorrow. Let me extend my appreciation on behalf of UNICEF India to all of the government of India for our strong partnership to strengthen every child's well-being. We are truly honored to work with our partners across women and child development, education, Jal Shakti, health, and Pajati Raj.